Good morning, dear judges, teachers, and classmates. I'm Miss Eliana Sebastillo from Grade 1 Genesis. Today, I will recite a poem about the spider and the fly. The Spider and the Fly by Mary Howitt. When you walk into my parlor, to the spider, to the fly. This greatest little parlor that ever lived in spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair. And I have many kids things to show in the way there. Oh no, no, said the little fly. To watch me is in vain. For who goes up your winding stair can near come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? To the spider, to the fly. You are pretty, curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and clean. And if you like me so well, as long as you talk to it. Oh no, no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said, they never, never wake again, who sleep upon your bed. So the cunning spider to the fly, dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry, good store of all that's nice. I'm sure very welcome. Will you please to take a slice? Oh no, no, so the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry. And I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gatherings. How brilliant are your eyes. I will let you look in this upon my polished shelf. If you step in one moment there, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say. And bidding me good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider then came round back and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he woke us at the web in a little corner slide and set his table ready to dawn upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again and Mary did it sing. Come, hither, hither, pretty fly, the pearl and silver ring. Your robes are green and purple with a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like a diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how grateful this silly little fly, hearing its wily, fluttering words, came slowly flitting back. With buzzing wings, she hung aloft, the near, near true, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and twin and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head. Poor foolish thing, at last, up jumped the cunning spider and Prisley held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den. Within his little parlor, but she near came out again. And now, dear little children, who made this story read to widen, silly fluttering words, I pray in near you give it unto an evil counselor, so sharp and ear and eye and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. Dear MCAs, always bear in mind Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 Let no one deceive you with empty words for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. God bless you all.